Hey guys, this is Drew with Acusha Collectibles. Welcome back to a brand new video. Man, I'm losing my voice. But, just got to the Conroe Money Show. Gonna go inside, see a few things. Um, but, let's get this video started. See what we can find. Hey guys, just spent some time in the Houston Money Show, as you can see in there. Uh, we bought two pretty cool things. This is an 1885cc. I'll show you guys some photos. Uh, great MS64 by ANX. Decent coin, nice GSA dollar. Uh, my favorite coin of the show, you don't have to zoom in on this case. This is uh, 1873, no arrows, uh, open three, uh, seated half. Uh, it's actually a proof labeled to MS. That's my opinion. That's what the dealer's opinion was. I'll show you a video of that, guys. It's an insane coin. The reason why I like this coin so much is because it has cameo eye appeal on both sides. So I believe the coin's a cameo designation. So this coin, what I bought it for on the label, is actually pretty cheap compared to what the coin should actually grade for. But check out these coins on our website, AcousticCollectibles.com. But I'm going to get back to the show. Okay. We are here with Mr. Rodney Levingston. Can you tell us how you got started, Mr. Rodney, in the coin business? Sure. My grandpa got me started with uh, a silver dollar, and he showed me a bunch of silver dollars he had one time. And uh, he had them stored somewhere that nobody could find them, and uh, his house burned down. And after the house burned down, we found them in a big clump of silver. And it was just, it was heartbreaking. And I remember that so specifically. And that's really what got me started in the coin collecting because of the history. I started reading books. I read tons of books, and uh, and just uh, just kept reading and reading until I felt comfortable about my first coin buy. And that's probably the best thing is to read all the books you can before you buy your first coin. So how many how many years have you been in the business, Mr. Rodney? I've been right at 25 full time. 25. Yeah. Okay. And when I went full time, everything went up for sale. I don't collect anything. Okay. So so uh, you have some of the nicest cases. Well, thank you. I get compliments all the time on. Them. In the show, who, who made them for you? Uh, my uncle made them for me. He's real talented. I got none of that talent, but I'm glad he got it. And but, where, uh, where can people find you, Mr. Rodney? Uh, I am in Gladewater, Texas. Uh, my phone number is 214-679-5527. And I carry pretty much anything U.S. So if you're, something you're looking for, give me a call. I bet I have it. And I ship all the time, so I'll make it easy. And you are a GSA expert, right? Uh, I, I claim to be. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Rodney. I really appreciate it. Thanks so much. Appreciate it. All right, I'm here with the man. Shane Pack, uh, what's the name of your coin shop? Um, where can people find you? And how's your how's the show been so far for you, brother? Yeah, my name's Shane Pack. Like you said, um, my shop, my coin shop is Reliable Coins in Waco, Texas. Uh, we've been open since 2013. Uh, originally opened for my dad and my brother-in-law. And uh, coin show's been great today. It's been awesome. Uh, it's a lot better, I think, than the other ones. Really busy, as you can tell. Uh, even Friday was a great day, so two busy days, lots of business, and it's doing great. Uh, what What are some things that you enjoy collecting or enjoy kind of seeking after when you're trying to help out customers with coins? Yeah, well, I mean, I like pretty coins. I think we all do. Uh, I started off with Buffalo Nickels. I'm a firm believer on when you start this business, choose one. Don't don't go don't go. Uh, don't go wild with it. Choose one, get really good at it. I did Buffalo Nickels, and I just sold my first Buffalo Nickel book I put together two months ago. And um, but coins, and I mean, you just gotta you gotta find your niche market. So. Right. And what uh, what tip would you have for people that are starting to collect Buffalo Nickels? Do you have anything that you would tell them to look out for in terms of eye appeal or anything like that? Just go for original coins. A lot of Buffalo Nickel. There's a lot of detail in Buffalo Nickels. I mean. And go for original looking coins. I mean, don't don't go for the, the nasty clean ones or one side's cleaned and one side's dirty. 
uh, just just go for ones that, that look true to the grade. Find your budget. You know, don't don't go for 64s, 58s, 55s. Find your budget, whether it's a 50, 45, or 63, and stick to that budget. And uh, I wanted to ask you, like, what friends have helped you kind of learn and and exceed in the in the market some because. I know that we, it's really about the connections that we have in the hobby to help us grow our knowledge. Who, do, who are those friends for you? Well, you two guys right here, of course, Drew and Casey. Um, Harrison Beagle has been a great guy with DFW coin. Uh, Gary has been awesome with world-class coins, very knowledgeable. Uh, lots of lots of great guys out there. I mean, the Instagram community in a whole, I mean, it, it's just a great community. There's so much knowledge out there. And even coming to the coin shows, man, I mean, I, I'm a, I value this more than anything. Even if you're not having a good coin show, take advantage of the opportunity to learn. There's so much information. I mean, even overhearing conversations, you can learn a couple things. Yeah. Well, we appreciate you uh, talking with us today. Um, a lot of people can't make it to the show, but where, where would you want them to reach out to you if they were interested in the coin that you have? Yeah, Reliable.Coins on Instagram. It's great. we got our eBay store up. It's also Reliable Coins on eBay. Um, shop is in Waco, Texas. Uh, you can find us online. Just look up Reliable Coins, Waco, Texas. we got our phone number on there. Um, but we got great coins. We do a lot of bullion, too, so I'd be more than happy to help anybody with it. So one more thing before we go, like, do you have a cool coin show story that you have about a coin that you may have upgraded or, or not? Yeah, I bought a, uh, I bought a really nicely blue-toned uh, seated quarter uh, from a small coin show in Houston about a year ago, I'd say. I was actually with uh, DFW Coin at the time. And uh, I think I bought it in an Annex 62 holder, and I sent it in to PCGS, and it came back in MS64. I ended up making three, four hundred dollars on the coin. It was a really good flip, and I really enjoyed the coin. Well, thank you for sharing that story with us. Um, how much did you have invested in the coin at the time, and then how much did you end up selling it for? I think I had 300, 350 invested in it, and I sold it for about 750. Sold it 750. So you doubled your money. That's not too yeah, bad. It was, yeah, it was a good little flip. Yeah, and I, I actually saw this coin like a few weeks ago, so I'm going to include that true view in the video as well. But thank you again, Shane, for all that you do, and yeah. we really appreciate you being here, bro. Absolutely, man. Yeah. Yes, sir. Are you guys enjoying the coin show so far? I mean, look at this beautiful venue. Anyway, if you guys are enjoying the video so far, leave a like, comment your thoughts down below. Uh, you know what? What's been inter most interesting to you about the video? And subscribe if you're new. I mean, coming out with videos every week like this, so. Stay tuned, get excited. Yep, that's about it. Hey guys, we just made it home. Second day of the show, last day of the show. But here are some of the orders that we have shipping out uh, on Monday. Just a whole slew uh, of stuff. Very fortunate for all you guys that uh, visit our website, acousticollectibles.com. Shameless plug. But we're going to show you guys four coins before this video ends. Uh, let's get started with that. Uh, first, we have this 1878 eight tail feather Morgan dollar uh, graded MS62 by PCGS. The reason why I picked this coin up is because on the obverse, uh, you know, when you twirl it on the light and you kind of check out the fields, you can see that it has like a semi-proof like feel to it. Uh, I really like that about the obverse, and it's kind of problem free for a 62. Uh, it's pretty nice. And then when you flip over the coin, um, you see like you know a nice blast white finish on the reverse, um, not proof like so they didn't make this coin a proof like coin, but uh, it's a pretty nice coin, nice pickup at the show. Um, up next, we have a 1938D Buffalo Nickel. Um, this one is toned on both sides. When you check out the obverse, you can see this kind of orange and pink on the coin. Um, it's created Mint State 66 by uh, PCGS as well. Um, but when you turn over the coin, that's my favorite part about it. Um, you can see the pink and orange going really vibrantly on uh, the reverse. It's more of a common day buffalo, but uh, for the price I got it at, uh, I'm very thankful for that. Um, and then, you know, it just has a little character, makes it different from other buffaloes. And we actually just sold this one while we were making this video, which is pretty cool. Put that in the pile. And then we have this 1887 Morgan Dollar, uh, great MS66 by PCGS. The reason why I picked up this coin is because it's beautifully toned on the obverse. You can see uh, green kind of going around the rim, uh, a nice blue hue there that almost uh, fills the coin, and then there's that pink right in front of the face, and kind of in the hair there. Uh, you know, just not a common color, um, and you know, it's a P date, which is pretty, or P mint, which is pretty cool. Uh, when you flip over the coin, it has some nice rim, uh, you know, nice rim toning, a little bit of gold there. 
Um, and then a really nice blast white finish on the reverse. It's just, you know, I like the coin a lot. Thank you, Colin, um, from Syntex Bullion that let us buy this coin. Uh, he actually won it in a DFW coin, so long story, but pretty nice coin. And the last one we want to show you guys in today's video is this 1825 uh, Cat Bust Half. Uh, I bought this coin because it looked really nice for an AU50. Uh, when you check out the obverse, it still has a decent cartwheel on it. Uh, nice original luster. Uh, I don't know why they graded this coin AU50. I think it's a little bit nicer than that, but you know, it is what it is. Um, but when you flip over the coin, it has the same kind of story on the reverse. Nice uh, blast white finish to it. Um, has a nice kind of cartwheel. Um, sometimes you get that dippy look to coins where it's been dipped and has like everything's really blast white. I think this coin more has original luster than other coins, but. Nice group of coins, really awesome show. Uh, like I said again, thankful for all the things that we've uh, been able to accomplish this weekend. Looking forward to many more shows this year, but uh, let's cut it to the outro.